Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome, my cancer friends and friends of cancer. This is the Divine Phoenix Rising Tarot, and hey, I'm Zachary. Thank you guys for joining me here, and welcome to my table. So this is your message, uh, first part of March, as I am posting this here at the end of February here, but all messages are timeless. If you do feel drawn to something, I encourage you to take a look. There is a message in there for you. Okay, Cancer. So I am shifting things a little bit here in my reading. If you've been here before, welcome back, you guys. You'll notice a couple things that are different. If you're new here, welcome. It's all going to look the same to you. So channeling messages with spirit prior. Cancer, what came through was the image of a heart, like a broken heart. And typically, um, I guess like when we think of them falling apart, you've got like that kind of jagged line in between. So one half of the heart had a flat line <laughs> and the other heart had, or the other side had this jagged component. So what it made me think of was um, that line from that song, when a heart breaks, no, it don't break even. When a heart breaks, it doesn't break even is the thought that's coming through here. And I feel like it's sort of attached to maybe a specific relationship. Um, there's just something about like, I feel two components of a heart from different, even dimensional experiences or aspects. Okay. So kind of a, a weird one here to start off with cancer, but um, let's dive in and see what this is all about. What the hell's going on? So cancer, uh, oh gosh, and first, uh, right away, actually, you've got the <laughs> you've got the chariot here at the bottom, which is your card. So um, I feel like your higher self is definitely trying to get some messages to you, rat meow. <laughs> so let's look into it. This is my Murder of Crows tarot. Um, Spirit, what do we have here for cancer? For messages from a friend. Um page of cups here at the bottom. So, um, yeah, all right. I do feel like there is like, there's this desire to start again. Um, could be romantically, but there's like a, it's like, there's something that's feeling like it's missing. You're trying to put these pieces back together and they don't fit. Like <laughs> I've got a, a square heart. Where's the square hole? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. Guys, love you. So um, thank you for your support and love as always. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. All great ways to support me in the growth of this channel. And I truly appreciate it, everybody. I do offer personal readings if you're interested. You can check out the description of this video for a link to my website. And um, stay tuned to the end here for some information on how to win a free reading. If you're interested. All right. Okay. Um, Eight of Cups here to start at the bottom. So this is, um, this is what you want. This is what your heart is asking for, which is interesting that this is, I mean, the eight of cups can very much feel like there's a, there's something missing. So in the standard weight, uh, rider weight card, there are eight cups that are stacked together and it looks like one of them is missing, but there's not, if you count them, there's eight. Um, so it symbolizes this feeling that even though everything is there, something is feeling like it's missing. So, um, yeah, I feel like you guys are wanting to figure out what this is. Like, what is this piece that's missing that feels like it's missing? Why am I still feeling maybe even a form of abandonment? Like, why is my, why is my heart doing this? <laughs> Let's keep going. Let's find out. Let's see. Um, so this is my Deviant Moon Tarot. Temperance comes in here at the split. I do feel like there is a there's a concern or a fear over bringing components back together even inside of yourself. This is an interesting one, you guys, I'll be honest. Nine of Swords. This is anxiety-ish. So what do we have here for Cancer, please? Spirit. And this is a general message, so please keep that in mind. If it is resonating with you, please let it resonate. You are intelligent. You are also a co-creator here. So please use your head, heart, and intuition to decipher which messages are for you. <clears throat> and check out your rising moon and Venus, any other major placements in your chart, north node. You are more than your sun sign. And I dare you guys to look, okay? I double dog dare you. <laughs> so six of wands here at the bottom. <clears throat> this is your fear version. So... Um, I feel like, gosh, this is an interesting one, you guys, I'll be honest. It's like you want to get to this point of figuring out what is feeling like it's missing, but you're also afraid at the same time to like see it. 
Why? <laughs> it's almost like, like if you accomplish this, then what? Mm -hmm. Then what's next for you? What else do you have to tackle or work on? There's stuff to work on, I promise. I promise, Cancer, you can figure this one out. All right, let's get into this. <clears throat> so Page of Pentacles to start um, in your general. So I do very much feel like we're talking about improving a situation, something, making something um, work again. And not necessarily, I don't necessarily mean like a relationship. If it ain't working, like if it's broken and it's not working, it don't work, right? But that doesn't, that concept doesn't apply to your heart. Um, that is never going to like fully break down. And that's what I feel like we're looking at here. Like you're looking for pieces to rebuild something, to rebuild an experience. You cancers. <laughs> and I am Cancer Venus, so um, I, I do very much feel that energy. Well, hail spells. <laughs> Ace, of, uh, Ace of Cups comes in here next here for your general. So uh, maybe you guys are, you're either in, let's see, you're either in a relationship now, things are coming up from the past, this old familiar feeling of like something just doesn't feel like it fully fits, doesn't feel totally right. Uh, for some of you, you, you may be facing the potential of a new relationship here. Maybe you've met somebody. Maybe they are bringing up some of these feelings. Like you can, you feel an attraction towards this individual but something still feels like it's missing. And I feel like um, that feeling is always going to be there no matter who. Like it doesn't always have to be there, but this feeling is coming from something that needs to be shifted, like two different timelines even, you guys. What in the hell? Oh, my God. Like there's this experience from two different timelines that you are trying to bring together. And the code, the universe is going, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> That's really interesting, you guys. Okay, let's keep going. Let's get further into this. Um, spirit, what the hell? <laughs> With cancer. Why? Okay. Um, five of Pentacles did come out there, too. So this process of coming in from the cold, feeling abandoned here. Maybe something did happen, you guys. Four of Wands here at the bottom. <clears throat> the way that you experience joy with your uh, kindred spirits, okay? I feel like there's this feeling of loss. Maybe you have actually lost somebody in this life, in this timeline. There does feel like there's like a division, though, you guys. And uh, in general, that is happening for lots of people with timeline splits and things. So it's not that anything's been done wrong. I feel like there is just like this this difficulty in recognizing where you are right now in space time. There may be emotions, fragmented emotions that are attached to this experience that maybe you're not even sure. Like you're sitting here going, what? Why? <laughs> this again? Um, I feel like, so the fool came in here to, to clarify as well. I feel like it's really important to uh, make the request, <laughs> calling the operator here, the... Press zero <laughs> to dial operator um, to connect with the universe here and make a request like, hey, you know, life is great. Really enjoy, you know, everything that's going on. Um, it's not quite what I signed up for, but there are some some maintenance requests that I have. Right. <laughs> it seems like there is um, some energy or experience that is lingering in another timeline that doesn't belong here and i'm having a hard time figuring out which cupboard that goes in asking for some help in that way right now sounds uh sounds keen all right it sounds like a good idea the ace of cups this component of the angel is standing out to me as well like talk to your not that <clears throat> maybe they aren't aware i don't know i kind of think about um that disney movie soul where the way that they portrayed all of the uh etheric beings or whatever and there's teary who is the soul counter <laughs> like even there are mistakes made in the matrix and maybe um maybe you need to just like hit the reset button okay i hope this makes sense we're gonna get into this further but like i said you guys very weird weird energy coming through on that but let's let's figure this out 
Oh, geez. <laughs> Jay-Z Pete, you guys. Okay. Uh, so this is your good stuff. The good stuff coming through. You have lovers. <laughs> so, hey, I think um, I think that we're talking about love, for sure. Um, <laughs> the way that you, um, that you feel safe, whole, complete, in and out of relationships. Like I said, I feel like there's this component and that, whatever that, like, ghost in the machine kind of fragmented code here that is making the heart flat on one side and choppy on the other you need to trade with somebody you know you in another timeline to get that other the right half of the heart back so you can bring them together um that is creating this feeling that something is missing that you can't even that je ne sais quoi right you can't even put your finger quite on it and i feel like it's because there is like a lap literally like i wish i could explain that better you guys dial the operator okay is what i'm saying <laughs> press zero dial the operator but i feel like um that is the case having ace of cups here in the general and the lovers there is a new situation going on here love wise and whether this is just you just just the relationship that you have to yourself you are figuring out what is missing or you're able to put these pieces back together because um, you were able to swap them. This new opportunity to engage with yourself. Um, I feel like that always brings new opportunities for us to engage in new ways with others too, i.e. a relationship. Yeah, I do feel like there's love here though, you guys. So awesome. Hangman comes in here as the other card for your for your good stuff here. So um, I feel like there has been, so what this is expressing to me is more the concept of the delay. Um, there has been a bubble, you know, a delay put here in this situation, or you've been in a situation of delay, specifically regarding love, relationships, the way that you connect to others, very much like a Venus energy I'm getting there. Um, the point of that is so that like you can bring these pieces back together. Maybe your spirit team already does know about this, but they can't like, this is, I don't know. I, I really wish that I could explain what it is that I'm feeling a little bit better here. And, and hopefully that'll come out a little bit more. I feel that this is something that you guys can take care of. This is not something that is like, I feel like super typical of the human experience though, either. This idea of like, oh, I'm living in multiple timelines right now. Like we are, but um, things are just really interesting these days. Okay, you guys, like, I don't know. We've literally got uh, active attempts at opening up portals and, and looking into multiple dimensions. And that is definitely creating new issues for all of us. And I feel like this is kind of what is going on, like... Um, half of your heart is in another dimension right now. I feel like it is attainable. This is why there is a delay that's been put on. Maybe you have been looking for love. Maybe love has just been feeling crunchy, your relationship to yourself. Almost like there's just this, like this shadow where that part of the heart should be. Just something feels like it's missing, even though you know it's not. This delay right now is so that you can call that back in so that you can bring yourself into the timeline that you want to experience fully <sighs> dear god <you> guys. <laughs> this is not not a light one for sure um can we get some more information here on the good stuff how does um how does cancer approach this how do we lift this delay how do we move forward four of cups you have eight of cups at the bottom again there. I love this. So um, <clears throat> the four of cups, I tend to describe this anyway. So it is a gift. It is an offer coming in. You've got three cups here. They're fine. They're good offers, whatever. And then you've got this additional offer coming in from Dimension X is the way that I usually describe that with this with this card. <laughs> So it seems to me um, you guys are actually being shown this situation. You're being offered like a like that other heart 
half of your heart is tied to a string and that string is coming from one of your angels, the operator here, <laughs> the operator of the matrix. And uh, all you have to do is like pull that in. There has to be some will attached to, I want to bring this back into, I really, I feel like it's actually kind of that easy, you guys. Becoming aware of it and, and calling it forward. But the four of cups, you can miss this opportunity because of pessimism. Maybe you are too focused on this feeling of like, I just feel like something's missing though. Yes. And now let's get it back. Okay. Let's find it. <laughs> Don't miss this opportunity. Make sure you're looking around for random hands with strings, okay, popping out of the dimension X so that you can recognize uh, the opportunity. Maybe this is the opportunity for you. Hello, you know, pay attention to this. Ask your spirit team, where's the, where's the damn string? <laughs> let's get this done, right? Let's pull this, let's pull this together. Because as soon as you do, I feel like there is this um, feeling of wholeness that is not really expressible. Like, you want this, okay? And I know you want this. But I feel like you can kind of miss this a, a chance to bring it together if you do get lost in feeling sorry for yourself, feeling bad for yourself, getting addicted to uh, the more negative emotions of whatever a situation is. Not that you're ignoring it or dismissing it, but um, – Pay attention, okay, is what I, I have coming through. I feel like there's one more card on this. You have to be an active participant in this as well. <laughs> Yay. Nine of Swords. I do feel like this is an end to like an, uh, a nightmare kind of feeling. So Four of Cups, so this is my uh, filling your couch cushion full of farts card too because it, like, it looks like that's what she's doing. 1717 17 on the timer. So um, not just sitting around and waiting for a solution, like being keen, like I said, looking around, calling in a solution. Somebody please help me find the other half of my heart, okay? <laughs> and speaking of Knight, of, Knight of Cups comes in here for the good stuff too. Yes, I feel like this is completely within your wheelhouse and ability to take care of you guys. And as soon as you do, it is this action of like filling your cup. Not in a hedonistic way, but to a point where you feel like you can move forward. You can feel romance in your life again. You can feel love again. You can feel that beautiful Venus energy. Okay? So let's keep moving forward. Ah, what's in the dark? What you don't see coming, what you may not understand or see, you have the Ten of, uh, ten of Wands. So this concept of needing to let something go in, in order to continue on your journey... I do feel like there is also an encouragement here to keep going, like not to carry a full load. We're not stepping into martyrdom, but to also know that you're close, okay? Having the Ace of Cups, Lovers, Knight of Cups, you're being shown here how to sew these components of your heart back together. That's been torn apart by, I don't know, CERN. <laughs> I... I wish I could, you know, fully explain to you everything that's going on dimensionally right now. I am only one human. I'm doing my best here too, right? But there's some crazy shit going on. And I feel like um, that's what's going on for you guys. There's a component of your experience that you that is meant to be here, but it got kind of like time grafted. I don't know. <laughs> some weird shit going on. So uh, Three of Pentacles comes in here as well for what's in what's in the dark where you don't see coming. Um, in letting go of feeling, I feel like it's this perspective, this focus, uh, focus, <laughs> cancer, um, is your focus on, I don't feel good. It does feel like something's missing. Or is your focus on, I know that there's a solution here. I may not have found it yet, but I'm going to find it, damn it. Okay. Um that focus is still acknowledging that something's going on inside of you. And it's also moving you towards the outcome that you want. That's what I feel like the 10 of wands is talking about here. What you don't see right now is that shift of perspective is needed along the same lines of the four of cups here. Shifting that perspective allows you to see that hand coming out of dimension X here saying you left this, you left this on my couch. <laughs> Um, three of pentacles here though, this is success in working with others. 
teamwork makes the dream work. I feel like what comes through with your spirit team is that, um, like, don't take my job. <laughs> like, they have jobs too, and it's okay to um, rely on them to do those jobs. They signed up for their responsibilities as well, okay? Just as you did in the contract that you made in coming here. Um, any other information here in what is hidden or what may be blocked? I feel like this is that component of your heart that's been missing has been making it difficult for you to work with others well. And we're in a time where working well with others brings success, like co-creation versus competition, right? The freaking lovers there at the bottom, you guys. You crabby, crabby friends of mine. Cancer, um, lovers is also Gemini too. So if there is a relationship, uh, I do feel like, you know, there's there's fire coming through. Gemini is coming through pretty heavily though. <laughs> I don't know. King of Wands came in to clarify what's in the dark here. <clears throat> I really feel like you guys, like, just, just ask for help in, in getting this component of your heart back. And that could be doesn't have to like obviously it's not like a, a piece of your heart it's it's a piece of your um a, emotional experience all right your spirit to experience a component of emotion that needs to be you can look at it as alignment or um i just feel like there's a part of your experience that is in another timeline that's meant to be here part of you got left behind in a split and it's nothing that you did wrong okay it just seems to be Normal things that we face these days. Um, <clears throat> but King of Wands, this is your ability to like to lead. To feel whole is how I feel. To feel to feel that confidence and that exuberance and that passion. Maybe even towards love. So your challenge to start here, you have King of Swords. <clears throat> I feel like the hardest part about this is maybe even um maybe even looking at this situation and Hmm. Maybe some of you are even, I don't know, maybe some of you think I'm crazy. That's fine. I don't care. <laughs> um, I feel like the difficulty here is that some of you may be having a hard time making this make sense for you. Make this make sense. <clears throat> maybe it doesn't make sense, you guys, okay? And maybe we don't have to have, like, every piece of information on on how something works in order to, like, have it work, Right? Um, that's what I feel is going on here. <clears throat> that component of discernment too. There's something about recognizing this emotional experience for what it is. I say that spirit. If you are in a situation where you are feeling addicted to an emotional response, like a 10 of swords kind of action pain, that process of being addicted to it for the sake of being addicted to it and being in that emotional place for the sake of whatever it is giving you is taking away from what it's trying to show you, which is something is missing, but it is not like it's something that um, you can very easily get back together here. And if you are to if you step away from this experience of pain or how painful something feels, you're going to see the solution is like right there. So the difficulty here is in making that choice to like make the right choice, right? <laughs> Find the solution instead of um, being a martyr, okay? And that's, no, there's that Ten of Swords, hey. <laughs> well, 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 spirit. Like I just said, okay, I thank you for that confirmation. Um, so Ten of Swords comes in here as the other card <laughs> for your challenge with the King of Swords. Exactly what I just said, all right? The solution is simple here, but it requires that you step away from uh, possibly being addicted to pain, all right? Which is what the Ten of Swords is. No pain, all pain, no gain. There's nothing here for you to gain. You need to step away from the experience of the pain, not that you're just validating it or saying it's not there, but looking around because there are solutions that are being offered that are going to help make this make more sense for you, okay? Okay. Three main pieces of advice for cancer. An interesting message, you guys. I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> Thanks for keeping it real. Confession, releasing a secret, pursuing virtue through honesty. And divine timing comes through here too. Everything has a higher purpose. 
Are you stuck in a situation because it is it is feeding like an addictive quality of pain for you? Do you already see solutions, but you are saying no to them because whatever the situation is giving something to you, that confession is for you and you alone. Be open to change. Be receptive to new experiences. Change leads to growth. Yes. And pay attention. Look out for signs from the divine. That four of cups again, I feel brought back to you. Like, look out for floating hands, okay? Communicate, receive, and express the truth. I feel brought back to that with the confession, the Ten of Swords there, uh, but also the Fool. Dial the operator, okay? I need some help. I feel like this is the communication that needs to happen. I, Dear Spirit, <laughs> I require help. SOS, please send help. That is okay. That is a good thing to communicate. And like I said... Like, they're here to, um, they have a job too. They signed up for a job to do. Let them do their job, okay? <laughs> There's someone who's paid to do that. <laughs> um, so let's move into your spirit animal. All right. Spirit animal um, messages. And then I've also got the wild unknown uh, archetype oracle cards I just purchased as well. So we're going to dive into that. Uh, Crow comes out here, you guys. Yes, I feel like what was coming through in the beginning with this idea of like piece of your heart or piece of your experience being in another timeline was the idea of a shaman. Like a shaman can help uh, retrieve pieces of uh, the soul that may have splintered off from this experience. Not that the soul like really splits. It's really hard to express in a dimensional concept from... <laughs> From the third dimension like it's still existing as a part of the experience of the soul but not in this third dimension and that can happen when there are situations of great pain portions of the soul's experience goes i'm out <laughs> not today like i'm done feeling that okay um maybe that's a part of what's going on here too the crow is very attached to magic very attached to shaman sight maybe you do need to get into contact with the shaman um, but I also feel like this is sight that's being offered to you as well. You, you need the difficulty. You need to like, take it. You need to say, yes, there's a collect call from <laughs> spirit back to that operator here. Will you accept the charges? Yes, you will. Cancer. You're going to answer that phone call. <laughs> All right. So let's look at Oracle messages here for you. Cancer. One of the most interesting messages I have had so far, but you guys keep me on my toes, honestly. <laughs> my cancer friends. <laughs> okay, um, so you guys got the crone. 13, which is also... Um, oh my god, it's got a, it's got a crow on here as well. <laughs> let me get this let me get this open here in the book her brain's just like uh okay okay the witch the old woman the sage just shaman. you guys yeah i feel like there is some there's some like soul retrieval there's some components of yourself that needs to come together in this experience those are the pieces that are missing and like i said it's not really that it is missing like it still exists just not here in this dimension where you are. <laughs> so the crone has seen it all. Nothing frightens or surprises her. She is the final manifestation in the feminine trifecta of maiden mother crone. In her long life, she's witnessed endless cycles of death, sex, failure, rebirth, conflict, and regeneration, giving her the ability to rise above the world of duality. She laughs at notions of good or bad, right or wrong, as she has seen the earth churning, smoldering, taking life, and giving life. The crone energy accepts everything in, devouring beauty and suffering with the same mouth, using their energy to reveal hidden secrets and knowledge. Her energy resides in all of us, though, though it is feared by most for its power and unconventional relationship with death and the macabre. Awakening the crone is dangerously rich and unapologetically magic. Ooh. <laughs> I love that, you guys, and I feel like that's what you need to do. Like This is the call you need to make to the operator. Operator, I'm ready for unapologetic magic, okay? Phew, you guys. 
If your work cut out for you, okay. I love you, Cancer. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining me here this week. As far as the free reading goes, if you hop into the description of the video, join the Phoenix Fam newsletter there. I am giving away a free 30-minute reading once a month as long as you stay an active subscriber. It is free to subscribe. So I'd love to see you guys there. All right. Beautiful soul. I'll see you soon. I love you so, so much. Have a great week. Bye.